Well, tomorrow night, some of the city's best-dressed men are coming together to help fight domestic abuse. This annual event is called Una Note, and it's designed to help people just like the one you're about to meet. Lovina Igvani is a go-getter. My official title is Licensed Chemical Dependency Counselor Intern with Healthcare for the Homeless. She works full-time, and she's a full-time student. I'll be done with this master's in three years from now, so my ultimate goal is to help people that are getting out of prison and also have a home for women that are leaving domestic violence relationships, to those survivors, a safe haven that they could go to. For Lavina, her life's work is personal. I was in a relationship, and when I first met him, there were signs that this could be bad. Whenever he would get upset, just the way he would, you know, just handle his anger. Soon, the yelling turned violent, even when she was pregnant. Within two hours of an argument that, you know, led to him putting his hands on me, and then two hours later, I'm having a miscarriage and in the hospital. So... I was afraid for my life, most definitely. Lavina felt like she was stuck. The breaking moment for me was my daughter saying, if you're gonna be with him, I don't wanna come stay with you. And I was like, why? And she said, whenever y'all would... She said, she said, whenever y'all would fight and y'all would argue, I would be in my room so afraid because I didn't know if he was hurting you or if he was going to kill you. That was it for me. I, I knew, I was like, I gotta, I can't do this. I reached out to a friend and I said, I'm in this situation and I don't have anywhere to go. And it was like three o'clock in the morning and she said, uh, call this place, they may be able to help you. That place was the Houston area women's center. They came and sent a cab to come pick me up. They gave me a place to stay. I stayed there for quite some time, almost six months. With a safe place to stay, clothing and food, Lavina could start focusing on her future. I had all the support that I could possibly need to, to make it and to get my life going on the right path again. From financial classes to employment resources, the Houston Area Women's Center helped Lavina create the life she wanted. I had counselors that I could confide in one-on-one. -on -one. They had group counseling available. I felt safe, that was the most important thing, I felt safe. Now, as Lavina is working and in school full-time, she can add one more title to her list of accomplishments, homeowner. That was like a, a huge dream come true. It was always like a one-day dream, like this will be nice one day to own my own home, but I wouldn't have bet anyone any kind of money that uh, this would be the way my life today would be where it, where it is. I never saw any of this in a million years. Because you didn't see a way out. Didn't see a way out. But now she has a whole new outlook on life. I'm not going to settle. You know, I spent so many years of my life settling when it comes to a relationship. I refuse to settle. Never again will I settle. And for those who might find themselves in an abusive relationship, Lavina has some advice. The first time it happens, it's time to end that relationship, you know. Don't be a fool for love. Uh, don't be a fool for love. And Lavina says one of her only regrets is that she didn't leave that abusive relationship even sooner. Well, the Houston Area Women's Center is the organization that helped Lovina. Each year, they help thousands of women and children get out of abusive situations. And joining us now with more on how we can all help fight domestic abuse is Chow Win from the Houston Area Women's Center. So we're going to talk about this big fashion event that's happening tomorrow night. But first, Chow, paint us a picture just how prevalent is domestic violence here in Houston. It's pervasive. Three out of four Texans is either affected by domestic violence or has been affected themselves. So it happens everywhere. It's a community problem. And as we heard in Lovina's story, too, um, that you guys offer 24-7 uh, assistance. So if somebody calls, needs help, needs information, you guys are there to help. But talk to me about the numbers and how frequently your phone is now ringing as opposed to maybe a couple years ago. You know, we have a high volume of calls to our hotlines each year, up to 45,000 on a typical year. What we know right now in the Houston area is that intimate partner violence crimes are up. 
family violence calls are up and, and the need is great. So we always encourage people to pick up the phone. Help is just a phone call away. You know, what's interesting is that here's all the information. If you know somebody uh, or if you are in a situation, call these numbers. These people are here 24 seven to help you out of this abusive situation and violent many times. Um, th there's a double edged sword here because the, the calls are up, which is horrific. Mm -hmm. The reports are up. But I guess the bright side is that people are calling and reporting. Right, so we're educating the audience or the community that it's okay to ask for help, that domestic violence doesn't have to live in the shadows of our community, that it is a community-wide problem, a public health crisis. So people are talking about it, and I always say, you know, if you see something, say something, yeah. and listen without judgment, support survivors. Well, and what's great about uh, this event that you guys are doing tomorrow night, Una Note, <laughs> is that men are at the forefront of this fundraiser to help you do your great work. Uh, yeah. There's Whitney Merciless yeah, right there. Yeah, this is a great event, the brainchild of Rudy and Debbie Pistorius from Fistari for Men. Yeah. It's a men's fashion show and gala. This is our 20th anniversary. We're the proud beneficiaries this year. But the Fasaris, it was kind of like born 20 years ago. He wanted to have a great Italian style dinner and support charities and here we are. We love engaging men and we love engaging our friends at the Texans, our KPRC friends, Dominique's MC. You're going to be there as a guest. Andy is a live auctioneer. So we have to do this work based on fundraising. We can't do this work without uh, support like this. And the bottom line is bringing it out of the shadows yeah. I think is critical because there are so many barriers. I mean we've had, you and I have talked yeah. Chow about our stories, we've had family, ourselves affected by this issue, children, money, where to live, these are all barriers preventing people from reaching out to getting help. But your message is... Help is available. Help is available. It's never your fault. You know, survivors come to us and they think it's their fault and they're being blamed, but it really is a phone call away. We encourage people to head to our website. And the bottom more. line is, too, I mean, the stat here for um, your area is that more than 80,000 people in our community have benefited from the services. Yeah, we have a vast array of services from our hotlines to counseling to community outreach, violence prevention. We have housing programs. We have a 24 seven shelter. So everything a survivor needs to uh, move his or her life forward, we're there to help. And we should mention it's not only the survivor, but it can be also children that's attached to that as well. We serve lots of yeah. kids. On any given night, there are 50 to 70 women at our shelter, but they come with children, 50, up to 50 kids at our shelter with a school, with child care, counseling programs for kids. So we serve a lot of kids. Child, thank you so much for everything you're doing. And we do, by the way, have a link on our website that will connect you to the Houston Area Women's Center. And, uh, you know, help a friend, help yeah. yourself. Absolutely. Yeah, and, thank and you. support the event. We really thank you guys for being part of it. It will be great.